Hello dear friends, are you ready to dive into the fascinating world of frog adaptation? In this video, we will explore how these slimy creatures have evolved to survive in a wide range of habitats, from deserts to rainforests. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video because this gives me a great support to produce more videos about animals adaptations. And now, get ready to discover the amazing strategies that frogs have developed to protect themselves from predators, find food, and even breathe underwater. From their sticky tongues to the unique skin, we will unlock the secrets of these remarkable amphibians and showcase how they have adapted to their environments in incredible ways. So strap in, and join us on this exciting journey through the world of frog adaptation. Frogs. A frog is any member of the order Anura, which consists of a diverse and mostly carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. Frog morphology is unique among amphibians. Frogs are distinct from other amphibians, such as salamanders, in that they lack tails as adults and their legs are used for jumping rather than walking. What distinguishes a frog? Frogs have prominent eyes, no tail, and strong, webbed hind feet designed for leaping and swimming. They also have skin that is smooth and moist. Many are aquatic in nature, but some dwell on land, in burrows, or in trees. Frogs can be found in a wide range of habitats, including rainforests, mountains, and deserts. They are, nonetheless, sensitive to changes in their environment. The majority of common frogs reside in or near fresh water. Many require water to reproduce, however a little puddle can suffice. Frogs eat what? Adult frogs eat insects caught with their long, sticky tongues, as well as other invertebrates including snails, slugs, and worms. Skin that breathes. The frog's very permeable skin allows oxygen to pass through, as it does in all amphibians. Frogs can breathe via their skin because to this unique characteristic. Because oxygen is dissolved in a watery coating on the skin and transported to the blood, the frog's skin must always be moist. As a result, frogs are endangered. Adaptations that are unique. The structure of frog feet and legs changes drastically depending on whether they reside on the ground, in water, in trees, or in burrows. To catch prey and evade predators, frogs must be able to move fast through their habitat. The distinct adaptations, like as webbed feet, toe pads, and camouflage, serve as survival tools. Some frogs have moderate poisons, but others, such as poison dart frogs, are extremely toxic. The most lethal poison dart frog, Philobates terribilis, contains enough poison to kill up to seven humans. Amazon Indians utilize the arrow frog's skin secretions to coat the tips of their hunting and war arrows. The frogs are held over fire, forcing the toxins to the surface. Certain frogs have the ability to jump up to 20 times their body length in a single leap. It is a common misconception that humans get warts from touching frogs and toads. Frogs were used as a sign of resurrection in ancient Egypt, and they were even mummified alongside the deceased. A frog army is a collection of frogs. Tadpoles of the South American paradoxical frog can grow to be 10 inches long, although mature adults are only 3 inches long. They get smaller as they get older. The Goliath frog is the world's largest, weighing up to 7 pounds. What are the adaptations that allow frogs to survive on land as well as in water? a they have gills that allow them to breathe underwater b when kept moist the skin can absorb oxygen dissolved in water c they have lungs that allow them to breathe on land d they have air sacs that aid in the storage of air what are the frog's adaptive characteristics one they are poikilothems or cold-blooded which means their body temperatures alter in response to their surroundings Two, to breathe, a frog has both lungs and skin. Three, they are distinguished by the presence of webbed feet. What are the three exterior characteristics of a frog? A mature frog has a strong body with a distinct head and trunk. A pair of nostrils, prominent eyes, a membrane tympanum, it's slippery, warty moist skin, and webbed limbs are all external traits. 
frog adaptations that make them amphibians. Frogs, as amphibians, have characteristics that allow them to exist both on land and in water. They are cold-blooded, which means their body temperatures fluctuate in response to their surroundings. A frog breathes through its skin as well as its lungs. They have webbed feet that aid in swimming. What are the seven frog characteristics? Except as larvae, frogs lack a tail and have lengthy hind legs, extended ankle bones, webbed toes, no claws, huge eyes, and smooth or warty skin. What are the top 10 traits of a frog? 10 frog characteristics. Prominent eyes. A close-up of a frog's eyes. They inhale through their skin. Frogs breathe via their skin, which is another distinguishing trait. Large mouth. Croaking frog. Long and strong legs. Camouflage. Possessing minor poisons. Skin is shed. At work at night. Is there a backbone in a frog? Fish. Amphibians. Reptiles. Birds. And mammals are the five primary groups of vertebrates. Because a frog is an amphibian, it has a backbone. Frogs do they have ears? The frog lacks an external ear like that of most other terrestrial animals. The ear canal is absent in the great majority of known species, and there is no pinna. What is the name of a frog's skin? The epidermis of frogs is made up of stratified squamous epithelium, with the stratum corneum made up of a very thin layer of keratinized cells. In majority of the frog species analyzed, cells in the epidermis of tadpoles are ciliated, and cilia retract before to metamorphosis. Frogs have how many hearts? Frogs' hearts are three-chambered, with two atriums and one ventricle. Blood from the bodily organs enters the ventricle via the right and left atriums and exits the heart via the ventricle. Frogs do they have knees? Frog legs offer a significant surprise, they have rudimentary kneecaps, contrary to textbook biology. The kneecaps, which are formed of dense, fibrous cartilage rather than bone, appear to be far better suited to absorbing the strains of leaping and jumping than the bony human patella. Frogs have no arms nor legs. The frog's shoulders and front legs are comparable to human shoulders and arms. The radio ulna is the frog's forearm bone. The radius and ulna are the two forearm bones in humans. The humerus is the upper arm bone in both frogs and humans. What is the significance of frogs? Every year, frogs consume billions of insects, making them economically beneficial to farmers. They are also an important food source for birds, fish, snakes, and other species. The most essential contribution frogs may offer is as environmental indicators. Thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like to this video.